All right. Good morning, everybody. It is January 30th, 2024, and this is a meeting of the Hadley Housing Authority in Hadley, Massachusetts. Um, welcome, everybody. The agenda, number one, is topics not reasonably anticipated 48 hours in advance of the meeting. Does anybody have anything that fits this category? Mr. Chairman? Sue. I submitted a lot of things to the chairman to be put onto the agenda and none of them appeared. So I would like to uh, have another meeting. Excuse me. I would like to schedule another meeting this coming month in February to make up for the fact that the things that were that I suggested for the agenda are very important to discuss and not to have to wait a whole other month to talk about them. Were you addressing the chair, Ms. Oppenheimer? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, um, it sounds like I owe you an apology, Susan. I do try to include all the agenda items that I, that I get. Um, so if I'm missing stuff, we should work on that. Let's have another meeting, all right? I would like that. All right, let's do that right now. Let's schedule a meeting for next week if people are around. I'm not looking at my calendar. I guess I better. I am going away down to Washington in the middle of the month for a week. So I have to be careful about that. If so the yeah. Housing Authority, we have a conference next week? Yeah, UMass? No, we're Mass down in Connecticut for NERC NARA, for federal, to federal conference. Oh, I didn't know. Right, yeah. I don't get those uh, notices. I'd, I'd love Because we, we don't have federal here, that's why. Oh. Is yeah. that something of interest to commit local no. commissioners? Well, you no. could, I actually did just read too recently that if there's something that we can justify sending you out of state for a training, we, we would. Okay. But when is the training, Pam? So the training is next, is th it starts Sunday and through Wednesday. So you won't be around then? I won't, I will not. And then I'm actually on my first vacation since March of 2020 on the, uh, the 17th through the 24th. So it looks like we're not going to be able to have a meeting. Uh, that's so it'd be maybe the isn't the twelfth. So maybe the twelfth. That would be in between. So it wouldn't be next week, but it would be the following week. So okay. this uh, next week, seventh, eighth, and ninth are not good for you. No. No. Okay, the twelfth, Monday, the twelfth. It's my birthday. Or you mean <laughs> Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong now. February. Yeah, Tuesday the 13th. Tuesday the 13th. You got anything? Oh, okay. Okay. No? Yeah, next week's no good for me, but the following week's probably better. Yeah. Is Tuesday the 13th okay for you? Yes. Yep. Tuesday the 13th? Uh huh. 11 a.m. Sounds good. Thank you, everybody. Can, well, can we go ahead and schedule the, the end of month one as well? Just let's get it done? Sure. Okay. And we usually do what the last Tuesday of the month? Yes. Which would be the twenty seventh, is that correct? That sounds right. Yep. Yeah, that's correct. All right. So we have two meetings scheduled now, February the thirteenth and February the twenty seventh, both at eleven AM. Sounds good. All right. Um, Pamela, you're around this week? I am. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. Uh, any other topics um, not previously anticipated? No. Approval of minutes. Has anybody, everybody had a chance to look at the minutes? We have two sets, right? Uh, November 28th so and December 19th. Mr. Chair, I Please. move that we approve the minutes of Tuesday, November 28th, 2023. Do I have a second? I'll do a second. Discussion? All those in favor of approving the minutes of Aye. November 20th? Aye. Aye. And unanimous? Two. I haven't read them yet, so I have to abstain. Abstain. All right. Three in favor, one abstention. Didn't get a chance to get them. Uh, they're in our package today, so. They were available on Friday, and okay. we received them on Thursday. Okay. All right. so no, no, just so everybody knows, because. We received them on Thursday via digital file. 
So looking forward, if you read them and you have issues, you're sure. free to bring them up. Would you like to make a motion? Yes, the 19th? I yeah. move that we approve the minutes of Tuesday, November 19th, 2023. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Richie. Uh, any other discussion on December 19th minutes? If not, I'll call for a vote. All to approve the minutes of Tuesday, December 19th, 2023. In favor? Aye. Aye. Abstain. Abstain. We just got the minutes a few minutes ago. So. Okay. But you so got the no, no, Okay, I'm not going to ask. All right. Thank you very much. I also need to read them more carefully. Uh, Executive Director's Report. Mrs. Rogers. So we have the warrant report. Yeah. Um, and a letter of treasurer. You want to present the warrant report? Okay. Yeah. So the. Well, thank you. <laughs> so we, um, I uh, vote that we approve. I mean, I move that we approve the warrant report for transactions. Just a second. Twelve twenty or twelve fourteen twenty twenty three to twelve fourteen twenty twenty three. In the amount of fifteen thousand two hundred sixty-one dollars and sixty-six cents. May I ask for? Do I have a second? I'll do a second. There. Uh, discussion on that. Any un anything unusual, Madam Treasurer? There was nothing unusual, um, no. uh, Mr. Whitkus. Did you see anything unusual? No. I just questioned about the uh, at the one time uh, the uh, shredding of the paper. Was that on that one? Or that previous one? Oh, that was uh, that was just the one we did last week. Yeah. So it'll be on next month. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So no discussion. No discussion. All in favor of approving the warrant? Aye. Aye. Abstaining? Susan, aye. No aye. vote. Aye. All right. All in favor. We. It's unanimous. Thank you. Mr. Uh, Chair, I move sure. that we approve the warrant report for transactions 1228-2023 in the amount of, it's in the gray, it's hard to read, $8,950.30. Yeah. I'll do a second. Any discussion, anything unusual? There was nothing unusual on that warrant report, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Did you find anything unusual, Mr. Whitkin? No, like I said about this reading, but that's that's next care of. month. Yeah. No, it's down here. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll entertain a vote to approve the treasurer's report. All in favor? Aye. 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 Abstain. Abstain. Three in favor, one abstention. Thank you. <coughs> that was the. Well, the treasurer's that was the warrant report. Well, no, report. we're on the treasurer's report yeah, but now. Yeah, said the treasurer's report. Oh, okay. Are we good? So we have a unanimous We're on the treasurer's approved? report now. Yeah. Okay, now we're on the treasurer's report, so. Okay. Are you presenting a treasurer's report, or are you asking us to vote on it? Okay, oh, you I don't have will. To, yeah, you don't have to vote on you it. So this to. is just informational, sir. Okay. Uh, information from Gary DePace, um, and then our... Um, Monthly income and expenses will be on this, the quarterly report, yeah. too. They're identical. Anything unusual, Pamela? No. <coughs> no, you will just see there's a modernization. There's funds paid that were not reimbursed, but um, that will that will be uh, re, uh, submitted to HLC for reimbursement. Has been. We're just okay. waiting on reimbursement. All right. And the quarterly operating statements, that's, we don't have to vote on that? No, nope, those we do have to re report on. So you'll see the um, the full operating statement for the 400-1 program, which is both of our programs. And we just started our fiscal year on October 1st, so we're in good shape. We haven't overspent. <laughs> And then also included in the quarterly is the modernization report that you'll be voting on too. And it shows all the open um, projects that are queuing up to be undertaken. 
We just get the project number. Is that them on the back? Yes, it will show you the project numbers. Um, the large amount, the 267, 112 is for a um, that's the window project that we're still it has not it's been so closed out yet. Oh, you got it? Okay. Thank God, I just don't see where they, where we see what the actual project numbers refer to. Am I missing something? How I can get that going forward for you. So, it, yeah, it's a match-up game. You match up the number with with a the name. project. Yeah. yeah. But that yeah. top one, the 117082, yes. that is the, the window project that will be closing out today. Okay, yeah, it'd be great to have what the project actually is next to the number. Sure. Yep. That was never done? That, that would be something new? That would be new, yeah. All right. Can we move on, or...? We, did you want to vote? Um, on so you do need to vote on both the quarterly um, statement and the modernization report, please. All right. And the modernization report, we're going to have to sign. No, I said. We don't need yeah, to? They, okay. It's an old form. <laughs> okay, great. A motion to approve, please. I move that we vote to approve the quarterly operating statement uh, as of uh, for the period ending 12-31-2023 and the modernization report. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Abstain. Abstain. Three in favor, one abstention. Thank you. Property management report. So we have the vacancy report going. Um, so right now we, we have a total of seven vacant units and um, property management and maintenance has been working to get these units turned over. We had a good um, slew of apartments, good number of apartments turned over and now we're kind of at a standstill. So now we're in a situation where we have applicants ready to go and committed to certain units but we don't they're not maintenance ready and they're not maintenance ready because of the maintenance department they're not maintenance ready because we're waiting for the executive office to push the approval button on that funding that they said they were going to give us so to clarify because it was a little confusing it's not because of the maintenance department it's because of waiting for the state to approve the funding but correct okay yep Yep. So we do have five units, um, and both of the units over at um, Berkeley are major capital projects, so those are going to take longer. And then here at, at Golden Court, we do have um, two major unit turnovers, and that was because we're, we're putting in some ADA, um, a rolling shower, and uh, cabinetry and things like that. And, but we have tenants for those that have agreed to move there, too. So we're working on it. I'm hoping by next month, hoping by next month that we have the approval. I can report that we've received the approval and the that. funding. And the well, once the funding's there, we'll start spending. Okay. We'll, but knowing that we'll be reimbursed. Okay, great. So somebody moves out, and we're ready to renovate for a new tenant, and we can't finish that because we wait for funding from the state. Am I following you? So typically we do, we'll take it from our reserves and we have a budget line item for maintenance, for turnovers and maintenance and supplies. Right. Um, but with this vacancy initiative, if you remember from a couple meetings ago, the Department of Housing, or excuse me, the Executive Office of Housing came out and did a, an inspection of all of them and have promised a good amount of money to bring them up to speed. So it's not just the normal wax buff paint it's the replacement of kitchen cabinets and upgrade in the bathrooms to bring the units up to a uh, up to almost like it's a renovation as opposed to a turnover I remember we talked and about that to, I, I don't want to say no to the money and just you know okay, buff it up again if they're offering the money we should take it and, and improve the property and you think that money will be Oh yeah, available within the next few yeah, months. Yeah, it's just that the executive office is overwhelmed with work too. There's only so many people, so many hours, and they're they're weeding through the a tremendous amount of paperwork and projects. 
Mm. So, but once I get confirmation, we'll 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 start moving. So, um, and then our tar report. Um, tar is not good in Hadley. Um, typically hasn't been this time of year. It's not good as as well, but. So currently we have arrears of 22, 243, and of that, uh, and we have repayment agreements of 13, 489, 41. Uh, one of the, the tenants in the 667 at the top um, was slated for some, um, for eviction but we stopped the eviction because of the weather and the circumstances and we're finally able to get services in place. And we're working to get a repayment agreement and funding um, and hopefully that'll all come through. Always good to hear when we can avoid an e eviction. Absolutely. I'm looking for those two numbers you just said. Um, so at the very far column, it says December tar. Yep. You see the subtotal of twenty-two two forty-three. I do. That's that's rent that's outstanding that is not in a repayment agreement. Yep. And then the bottom, um, the subtotal of thirteen four eighty-nine forty-one. Yes, I see it. Is rent outstanding that is in a repayment agreement? So as far as the executive office is considered, that's that's okay. That's a good thing. You can work with people and put them in repayment agreements. The top part is is we get um, we can get an audit finding for that. So the uh, the 22243, we ha we have no agreements for that money. Correct. And what happens typically? So, so typically you're, you try to work with a person to get a repayment agreement. Right. Of course. Again, it. It's good for the tenant, it's good for the housing authority. Sure. Um, we do reach out to TPP, the Tenant Protective um, Services. They try to work with folks as well. Does that system um, work? It does if, if everybody, if they cooperate, but mm -hmm. sometimes tenants don't want to cooperate. They're not, they're, they're not mandated to meet with the TPP people? They're mandated, they can be mandated if we, when we get to the court part. So if we, if we take them into court for um, non-payment or rent or habitual late payer, we, the first tier of a eviction uh, case is always mediation, and at that point you can mediate um, and say, you know, we'd like to get into a repayment. We'd like you to work with TPP. And the and court would say do it. Um, well, if the tenant will agree to that, that's fine. If the yeah. tenant's not in agreement, then it would go before the judge, and the judge could order it. Enforcing. As well. Yeah. Okay. So we're it, it's a work in progress. <coughs> does look like a lot. You're right. Yeah, it is. It's a lot. It's a lot. You had said before, Pamela, that Hadley is, has a long history of this non-payment of rent, refusal to pay rent. It, it's not everyone, though, that we've got a lot of people that pay their rent quite reliably. Yes, yeah, it's, but I think the culture of the, of the housing authority, for whatever reason, has always been, there's been a lot of non-payment of rent and arguing over uh, what the rent should be and things of that nature, um, and that there's no importance put on the TAR. But now through the audit process, we did just have our PMR on Thursday, uh, which I'll have the results for you at the next meeting, um, not, the, not the 13th, but the 27th meeting. Um, there was an audit finding for for the TAR because we're, we don't get people in repayment. Whereas in other housing authorities, um, like Belchertown, like f with their TAR, there's a long history of repayment agreements. Tenants know that when mm -hmm. they're starting to get into trouble, they have um, a flat tire or work that needs to be done on their car or something came up, they'll come right to the office and say, I'm having problems, can I put this month's rent into a repayment agreement? And they do it. And we have many tenants there that it's almost, as soon as they get one paid off, they go and they put another one in. But the rent's getting paid, or there's no interest, there's no um, late fees, and it just, it helps them, because our folks are on a limited budget. So it helps them stay within Any budget. thoughts on how to change the old culture? Here, if that's what it is, and get people to get with the program. So I think it starts from the the, the top down. So it's the the commissioners need to support it. Um, the commissioners need to understand the importance of collecting rent and why. I mean, that's mm -hmm. why we're here. Right. Um, and the detriment that 
tar play, uh, unpaid tar pays, uh, plays with the housing authority, um, and then just get a culture that it's you know it's you yeah. you have to pay your rent on time. You have to follow the the regs, the rent collection policy. Um, okay, well, and that it's a win-win. That's it just what I was going to say. It doesn't seem like anybody wins when they delay their uh, exactly. responsibilities. So I'd like to talk about that again, maybe come up with a letter or, or something that could go out okay. encouraging people. Uh, do you need a vote on anything? No, no, that's just anything? informational. Okay. Facilities, capital, we finally got the certificate for the window project, yes. I see. That's yep. great. Yep. The work order report, right. Um, so you do have to vote. Um, you do have to vote on the certificate of final completion. So the, uh, this is the the architect, the um, the contractor, the housing authority, and the executive office had has reviewed all the documents to make sure everything is in place. There was a walkthrough several months ago with a checklist, uh, punch list. The punch list has been completed. This was the last of it. The the blinds in the community room. So to, uh, this looks good. Not a sunny day, but um, very nice. Yeah. So that would uh, we would need a vote to um, say that the board agrees with these this information and accepts the uh, certificate of substantial completion. I move that we vote to uh, uh, is it approve or accept. Uh, approve. Approve the certificate of substantial completion uh, dated the 29th of December 2023 for the window project. Uh, and if I could just respectfully add project number 117082. <laughs> project number 117082. I'll do a second on that. Where do you see the date? It's written out in long hand. Oh, uh, let's see. Where I just oh, it's had in the it. box right here. Yeah, the little box it's in the box. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So, um, just quick discussion. This is the way it's done. We don't. We never hear from the contractor or the guy who did the final inspection. They don't come in to say, no. Yes, this is legitimate. This, uh, this is. Yeah, this Correct. is their. Yeah, this is their. their this is what we get. Yeah, this is certification from them. Okay. And you're you're accepting that from them. Yeah. So there's a lot of it, like legal paperwork. <laughs> yeah, but there's no signatures of anything. I because it came through DocuSign, so there's yeah. cer there's cert certified okay. DocuSign. Well, I would assume. See, that. these are certified DocuSign right here. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. Any discussion? Very nice to have a project get all the way done. Congratulations to everybody. Yeah, Mr. Chairman. S Susan. Uh, uh, you know, um, I thought we were having another inspection as far as we had an initial inspection after they were done and windows where they came into apartments and there was a lot of paint missing around the window area. That hasn't been rectified in a lot of apartments where, okay, the, where the paint is still hanging or a different paint in okay. one level and another. So I don't see how we can pass a project until everybody's apartment looks decent after that project was done. So I would have to check with John Williams, but it was my understanding that it was completed, that they did finish the paint. And if there's not, then the maintenance staff will go in and do that. So it was most should that the, hold up this? I, I wouldn't hold that up, no. No. No, it, not at That's all. something maintenance can, it's spot areas, right, Sue? Well, that, you know, it's a little yeah, spot area department and look, I can't sue yeah. for other people. So we do have, um, tenants here and we do have two tenants on the board too if you hear uh, please tell anybody to make sure they call in to let us know and we can go in and take care of that so you're saying the maintenance will take care of it and not you're not going to rely on the company that put the in. yeah yeah okay but you, everybody should contact the the office and let us know let uh, exactly. do a work order y yes yeah, yeah absolutely okay. please okay. all right okay I move oh. that we approve all in favor approve. Yep. Oh, that's unanimous. Thank you. So you let us know if you're having trouble getting that paintwork done. Work order report, ma'am. Yep. And that's just self-explanatory. Um, 
we are going to be changing um, the way we're doing vacancy work orders. We're going to actually be breaking them up further because you'll see a, a, a work order for a vacancy and it can be open for a month at a time and then it looks like one work order was done when there's a lot of work that goes into it. So we're going to be uh, separating vacancy into uh, subcategories of vacancy to include electrical, if there's an electrical work that needs to be done, or plumbing, flooring, of that nature. So you'll see a change coming up, but um, there has been a good amount of work on vacancies this month. Um, we have had some no heat calls, hot water issue calls, and um, clogged tubs and sink calls. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, yeah. But the maintenance has been busy. Yep. So that and that is just for informational if and, and if anyone has any questions. So the boiler cleanings that I see on on the work orders here, those are done. Yes. Yep. And that would that's an outside company that we right. I see right Fontaine. Now. So, yeah. um, but we're still having hot water issues. Is that what it's just still. Yep. 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 Well, there's the hot waters are not part part of the boilers. There is independent um, hot water heaters. Uh, they are two separate components. So what's the fix to Get everybody hot water. Well, it's a mechanical. P I mean, it's going to break. It, it's it's going to break. It's going to break. Unfortunately, that's just the nature of of machines. They will break. Yeah, and then so you repair them. So, so for instance, break. one thing was <laughs> pretty much yeah uh, repeated hot water problems in the building I'm in. Not, you know the the we would get lukewarm water from time to time. So what it was eventually, they were able to figure out it was a sensor. Then they had to order the sensor, replace the sensor, and now there's no trouble. See, it's these old components that okay. break. Or, yeah. or, or electrical. There's a lot of electrical. Yes, components. there's oh, electrical. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just but, but we're on top of it. That's all I care about. Yes, yeah. we are on yeah. top of it. So we don't need a vote for that. No, no, that's just okay. confirmed. But you anticipate by next commissioner's meeting, everybody will have had hot water and... Working. Oh, they do now. Oh, it's it's repaired. Okay. Yeah. All these are that's, repaired. That's yeah. But 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 remember, it keeps happening because these are old systems. Yeah. Thank you. Um, maybe I could bring this topic up now, just kind of for fun. But I saw in the newspaper Hatfield Housing decided not to accept state money to replace what I think were mini splits. I didn't read it carefully. Should we should we go in board correspondence for that? Or it's just commissioner's discussion? Commission I well there. But that's fine. I thought yeah, it was commissioner's just discussion. Commission. Yeah. Okay. So um, I guess my question is how often does that kind of grant money become available? And are we chasing grant money like that? Or do we have no needs right now? So if I, um, I didn't see the article, but what I think you're saying is Hatfield said no to mini splits. Is that correct? Yeah, like $400,000 yeah. they said they turned away from the state grant. And Belchertown did the same thing. Belchertown, um, and we're kind of going that same way here too, where, where we're saying on our, um, at Burke Way, we have a couple boilers that need to be there and they want to put in mini splits um, and we have to really weigh that because it's um, mini splits can come with issues they're increased costs we did mini splits in a fourplex for family housing in Belchertown and the residents electric bills went up hundred dollars a month okay. it was terrible and then the housing authority ended up absorbing and taking over those electric bills because they, they couldn't afford them. It was yeah. just crazy. Not to mention the up creek upkeep of the mini splits. They're like twice yearly that you have to have cleanings to prevent mold and condensation. Um, the mini splits again in Belchertown, they're, um, they're about f just five years old and we had one that failed. So there's you know $6,000 to replace one and it, it's for one room. There's each of those apartments have four mini splits. I hear so much good stuff about mini splits. I don't have them, but uh, yeah. yeah. And the Granby Housing Authority has them and had a huge mold problem. Really? And they're and they're a complex similar to this. So uh -oh. on one hand, they're environmentally safe supposedly because it's yeah. electric as opposed to fossil fuel, and that's the direction the Commonwealth is going. Right. But for a housing authority, it's it can lead to problems. So. Is there any grant grant money that you would 
like to see come in here, whether it's maybe replacing boilers or... <coughs> I don't, I don't know it's getting old here but. so we did have capital fund in our five-year capital plan we had funding for boilers um, and water water heaters uh, replacement but what it, the executive office has done because it, it again it came down from uh, the governor's office was um, they're not funding it anymore so that it that capital project then turns into money earmarked for mini splits because they moved from fossil fuel, what they right. imagine being fossil fuel driven to right. So in electric. you know then, as in in Belchertown, we're using budget reserves to re. We only have two boilers left to replace, so it's we're going to put in use our reserves and buy an oil boiler. Okay. So what you're saying is the mini splits. The the state would like for everybody to go to mini splits. However, there's problems with maintenance, upkeep, mold. So health hazard problems plus the utility bills for it. The utility bills. For yeah. No, oh, interesting. Okay. So I applaud Hatfield. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, any other commissioners discussion? Oh yeah, election of officers. We have no vice chair right now. And if I can't make one of the next couple of meetings or whatever, I'd like to know who would run the meeting. I'd like and someone to volunteer to be vice chair. Reese is in the treasurer's position, so she didn't feel comfortable, right? Being no, no, you can be uh, the treasurer and the vice chair. You just can't be a treasurer and a chair, but you can be a vice chair and, as a treasurer. And run a couple of meetings if uh, yeah, oh, yeah. the chair if, gets run yeah. over by a bus or something? Yeah. Okay. So I'd like to nominate Reese to be vice chair, Richie, unless you'd like it. No, because you were originally the treasurer. I'll you, take Greece as treasurer, and she can be the chair, vice chair. That's fine with me. It's okay with. I'll make a motion that um, Richie take over as treasurer, and Reese be vice chair. Sounds uh, good. That's a motion. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Or any Aye. discussion? You comfortable, Susan? Everybody comfortable? Yeah. Okay, this is not going to last long because hopefully we're going to have new commissioners and all that. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Yeah. Unanimous. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Um, board correspondence. I don't know of any. Um, it was the audit report, the Amherst Housing Authority audit report. Yeah. So we. Um, Sue, did you get that in the? Or do you need a hard copy of that as well? Or is that part of this packet? It was part of the packet. Yeah, it was um, sent over right. on a digital file. But it, it's a, what is it? Eighty pages. But why would we? Closer as a, to hundred. Why would we, as the Hadley Housing Authority, be going over the Amherst Housing Authority audit report? Uh, it, we have to do a, your due diligence to ensure that we're um, we're doing things correctly too, because we're your managing agent. So it's just for informational purposes for you. And ours comes. What's our annual, our fiscal year again? Is September um, to October? Octo October to um, September. September. And then, so we just did the PMR, the um, uh, Performance Management Review, just this past week that was completed. Um, and then, I, we did we just do it in the fall with Lisa Fallon did the mm -hmm. uh, AUP. So performance have, Management Review, I'm not remembering what that so is. So that one is they come in and they, they do look at tenant files. Um, they look at tenant files as well. Excuse me, they don't. They're looking at our certifications. They're looking at um, uh, board member training. They're looking at um, how we're running the work order system and facilities. There's a, there's a lot of, um, on the facility side, they come in with both um, a general, uh, the person that is going to, they do inspections, they look at the, the common areas, the mech rooms, and then there's a, the, the desk audit of certifications and budgets, TAR, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. So it, it, the performance management review is being done now. It'll be ready. It's completed. Yeah, it's completed. we're just waiting for the paperwork. For the paperwork. So what we were given on Thursday <coughs> uh, in our uh, board packet email was the AUP agreed upon procedure audit which does include financials and it's the audit done for uh, state-aided public housing which is what we are here. Mm -hmm. It also included an independent audit 
for federal public housing because Amherst also does federal public housing. So I read the whole thing and Amherst Housing did very well on both their AUP for state aid of public housing and on their independent audit for federal public housing. Thank you. Good to hear. Um, there were, wasn't anything. There was nothing glaring. Nothing glaring. Nothing. There was. It was no findings. No. There, there were a couple of things uh, that had to do with research, I believe. Yes. So one of them was there's a a new method for discerning whether tenants are reporting all their income uh, using cash apps. So now there is a method for uh, housing authorities to investigate that and to find out whether or not uh, the tenant is getting money from Cash App and not reporting it. So that was one thing. Mm -hmm. This is a very new situation with the use of Cash App. So now tenants are not going to get away with getting income from a Cash App kind of thing like PayPal or whatever. Mm. Greece, I'd like to ask yeah. a question. What, what constitutes, when you say a part of it was done as an independent audit, what uh, Markham and Associates, see, f uh, excuse us please, we're trying to conduct a business meeting here. Thank you. So uh, the independent audit is what it's called, the, that if you have federal public housing, you have to have, quote, an independent audit conducted by an approved auditor. So they had an independent audit done by Markham and Associates who was a state approved auditor for housing authorities that have federal programs. So the independent audit done for federal public housing programs including Section 8, etc. Is, is different than the agreed upon procedure audit for state aided public housing. Is that correct? Which is also an independent auditor. Which is also an independent auditor. Approved by the state. So, approved by the state, yeah. So who okay is like the salary of uh, Lisa, like Lisa Farron was, in, in here I was looking that it's 4,500, not salary, but as far as the amount that she was So that comes paid through, for um, that comes through the budget guidelines and it, it, it's based on per unit cost. <coughs> so they, they just, there's a fee set for um, the auditors and depending on how many units you have, you pay that. So that is a that's an approved fee from the executive office. So that was okayed. Yes, yep. previously. It's yes. kind of a set fee. It is a set fee. Yeah, you, it's a set fee. You know, it's what the state says you that's, have to pay. Yeah, absolutely. When, um, when and, we, and they give us excuse me, I'm sorry. They they give ahead. us the funding for that too. Yeah. When we have our audit re review for Hadley's mm -hmm. financials and um, operating procedures. Um, is it possible to ask the people that did the work to come in and run through it with us? I mean, that's what the PVTA does and it's helpful. Everybody likes to hear the auditor. It's possible if through. we ask them. I don't know if they need to get paid or not to come up for a half they, an hour. I, but don't, uh, I don't think anybody works for free. Yeah. Um, and then to travel to, to Hadley as well. So. All right. Well, I, I uh, for we one, could ask. all right, yeah. let's, let's see if they would do it for free or what they would charge, please. If nobody else is interested, I just think it'd be informative to see, hear from them, the horse's mouth, what they did, any concerns they have. Mr. Chair? Uh, yes. Uh, on that note, there is an entire <coughs> course about financials for state aided and federal public housing in the state of Massachusetts. All the rules, the regs, the how to read a financial statement, a quarterly audit, everything is included in a certification course offered by Mass Narrow, and it is a state approved course. So you go one time and learn everything, which is what I did about the financial operations of a board of commissioners for a local housing authority. Thank you. That's mm -hmm. how I know this. So instead of have, dragging in an audit group to teach us how to understand this, we could take it upon ourselves to go to the training and in three hours you can learn how to read 
financial statements and warrant reports, et cetera. So what happens at the PVTA is the auditor comes in and, you know, it's a huge report, a huge process, but he just goes through any concerns he had. There's actually a point in where staff and administration is asked to leave the room and the, um, the, the commissioners or advisory board members are allowed to ask questions and they're allowed to bring up any concerns that they may not have been comfortable bringing up with the administration, the staffs there. I don't know if we need to do all that here. <coughs> but, um, it was interesting, it's always interesting for me to hear the guys who do the work go through and mention things that you might not have thought of or the training may not have brought up. Um, I think they, the, they do give us a report. Yeah, well, we just okay. have to read it. Other people may I not be ask, interested. Though, I, I can ask, I mean, it, that's an interesting process. Who, over, who oversees on a different, What's the overseeing agency for the uh, PBTA? The Transit Authority, right? Yeah, there's a okay. board of advisors. No, but then from on a state level, because there's there's other. Um, yeah, Department of Transportation, okay. DOT. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. No, yeah. I'll, I'll ask the auditor. I mean, that is that's an interesting. I think it'd be informative, thing. but um, if yeah. it's a problem, I'm not to make a big deal out of it. Um, now this isn't on the agenda, so shut me up if it's not appropriate. Uh, we're having trouble keeping the property managers. Is that true, or um, is, have we lost the property managers? Mm -hmm. We have. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Are we? But that's day to day, and it's yeah. not a. And we have business. a new property manager. What's that? We do have a new property manager. We do. Okay, yeah. that's good to hear. The training right now. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, what else we got here? Any, anybody else have anything before we go on to public comments? Nothing from the commissioners. Folks, um, if you'd like to ask questions or make comments, now's the time. I'm just going to ask you to keep keep things concise as, if you can. What is it, public comment? Public comment. Public comment. Helene. Um, I live up the street. It's not necessary. I live in affordable housing. And in order to bring our community together, we have some wonderful parties going on for holidays, some incentive parties, some um, fun things to do, and it brings our it brings our community together. And I noticed um, I do not live in Golden Court, but I do have friends here, and I am an advocate. I was wondering why. This community does not have any type of social gatherings for a holiday, such as Christmas, Hanukkah. Uh, I think that it would be a wonderful way for the community to come together. It doesn't have to be expensive. It could even have uh, community members bring uh, individual treats, homemade or store-bought, but there's absolutely nothing offered here. I do know of public housing where I used to live in Florida, where they did have community things. So uh, okay. that's one comment. The other comment, uh, and I'd like some kind of, is a, is a response okay for that? We'll see. Okay, and <laughs> then, well, it would be a wonderful way to bring a community together. Oh, you mean a comment on your previous I point? I mean, is there a comment, is there a reason that this community cannot have any kind we, of we will bring that up. We will bring that up for discussion in future. <laughs> and the other comment I'd like to make is, um, I feel that uh, the divided community, because the board is quite divided, the community seems, that to me is a statement that uh, sort of like if a community is together, as in my community, not every single person, there are homebound people, there are other people that are, have social anxiety or antisocial, but if a majority of a, uh, if a few people in a community would get together, then there would be much more of a democracy going on. So okay. this community does seems not to, uh, it seems to me that the administration or something in this community is that they don't come together. And I don't think that it's to the benefit of the people. Okay, that's the same point you, that was, that's your first and your well, second. Both are important for a community to come together. There should be more social gatherings and I don't think that uh, it's to the benefit. There seems to be a lack of community in Golden Court. Thank you, Helene. Okay. 
Go ahead, Maureen. I have one important, very important thing to say about that. We have to have the Tenants Association to do that. Okay. I hope your uh, fellow residents hear you. I was all gone home when I came here. What, how many years ago? I can't remember. When I, I feel too old to do it now. Okay. Thank you. Tracy. Yes. Well, when Kendra was here, she left less than a year ago. She would have all these activities for us. I would go around and try to get people. She was happy when four people would be here. Yes, month after that. month after month. Maureen would come, Donnie would come, I would come, and that was it. Nobody else came. So, as much as the administration of Kendra was part of it, they did everything they could. They spent the money to get it. And it was actually, we had a fun time yeah. when we were together doing it, even if it was only five of us. You know, so when people just go ahead and say things without getting all the sides and figuring out, it's, that gets to be disturbing as well. So all I'm saying is, is that we used to, nobody showed up out of 40 something people here, four or five showed up. So I don't want to engage too much, but you, is there a solution to that? Is there a way to get people to get engaged? <laughs> They have a tennis association of some kind. That would help probably, yeah. But please be thinking about I'm, this guys. I'm you you know the now. folks here are folks who care and you show up and you're willing yeah. to engage with us. So, you know, we bear you know, we're all volunteers here, nobody's making any money. So uh it has been a most boring and downer winter or fall here. I'm not hearing that. It's something's a downer. It's more, more antisocial or downer than it has been since. Down what, what is the atmosphere? The or now, Yeah, the atmosphere. You look out the window and you don't see anything. Oh, except Pamela has her. Yeah. And nobody comes in here that I know of other than these people. Well, meetings. some gives us something to work on. I hope the commissioners can help in some way. Pamela. Well, I, mean, um, I don't know what the answer is. I'm just saying these things are very important and they've existed for a long time. One second. So uh, a true tenants association, unfortunately, wouldn't do social events either. You can do them on the side, but that's not the purpose of a. Emily, you know, the, I can barely hear you. I'm sorry. I, a true tenants association doesn't do events. That's not the main purpose. You can do it as a side, but what? Uh, but that's not the main purpose of the tenants association. But what you could do is, I mean, there's a group of residents here now that it's you know you can start activities yourself. We yeah. we are um, Tracy mentioned. The resident service coordinator even that 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 role is not to put on parties we use that person to put on on events um, don't you could you could maybe edit edit that out of the tape um, but it's um, that's not that role either but the tenants can play a role of it um, the the senior community that my mother lives in is very active since she's moved there she's in the community room with a group of tenants ranging anywhere from six people to th their Friday night guard card games are now 14 people. My daughter's told me all that just recently because she wants me to go with move to the place. Well, it's, but you could start it here, just as a group of neighbors starting to start card games or... Yeah. It's just the people that come here that apparently know this. Yeah. Well, we can help. We can try to help organize some games, some or some events where people are are playing games. Having Kendra did a movie. I think there was only four people. Oh my God! Movie, so cool. but we had to go those on. things that she used to get were very good. Yeah. Yep. All so right. Let's start. Can I speak as a tenant? I'll move up there. Tracy had her hand up first, so I, hang on a second. Susan. I have a, you know, because no, a lot of people don't come together, and what about we have building one, building two, building three, building four, five, six? Why don't we get a representative from each building, and then we can all get together, and that's only like six or eight of us, and we can figure out how we can bring everybody together, because no matter what, everybody's got something in common. I like it. Can I yeah. just comment on that? So th that's actually a great idea, and that's what the LTO in Belchertown does. They have a, um, for each of the developments, they have a leader of the development, and then each of the buildings at Everett Acres, they have a, they have a leader as well, uh, or, or the person that helps communicate. So yeah. that's a great idea, and that might lead towards going 
to getting a tenants association, but also having activities too. Right, but That's also hearing team. from because you know a lot of us just congregate with the members in our our building. Okay. So if we can at least, it's a start. You know, yep. it's something. Not everybody's going to come. Oh, yeah. I'm hoping more than four or five. Let's try. We won't know unless you guys try. So let's let's give it a try. Susan, did you have something Susan. you want? Tracy, I wanted to address you. There was one service coordinator here that gave a few activities for a certain number of months. But when you look over the years, we haven't had activities planned. So I don't want you to, you know, make it seem like we have had perpetual activities here. It was a no, short, very it short period of time. It was the coordinator that did it, and nobody showed up. That was my point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> point is you're you're right. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. I don't. I don't want to engage yeah. like that. We don't yeah. have to go back. I'm just saying. Yeah. Recently, and it failed miserably. So there's got to be another. There's got to be another solution to the problem. Yeah. Well, I like the idea of a representative from each block, and uh, yeah. I don't you know who's going to go. We can all come together and, and figure things out because you're not going to figure things out unless you get together and talk about it. Yeah. So you have to have an open mind, and you have to like think forward. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is not something the board can get involved in. This is something tenants need to come together and decide to do on their own. Okay, there's no state funding to have parties, oh, celebrations, right. Christmas. Every time we've had that here, it's out of the goodness of the executive director's heart and finding the money to put together to do right. it. And this is something tenants so. This is something, some money exactly, but this is on the yeah. tenants who want to be social to create that I don't, I don't want to shut anybody up though, you know. Social. Yeah. yeah. We did get money from the state for it. And I think it's important Well, to that's know. where tenants association, sweetie, not what we're All talking right, about. Me. I don't want to discourage people from We're talking about associating the tenants. Yeah. Excuse okay, me. guys. Um, I think it's important that people can speak without yes. being criticized and it's important to know that the commissioners support some certain ideas like more social activities. Judy, did you have a... I have a, I have a number of things that I just wanted to bring up. One is the condition of the road coming in and going into the back. There are really large potholes. Really, it's why can't we get the world fixed? Thank you. Oh, we, we will look into that. I have an old car, I want it to last. Drive slowly. No, I'm kidding. It's right. What else you got, Judy? I got um, slowly. the office hours as posted are absolutely not being followed on Friday and Monday. Very seldom is there anybody here. <laughs> And the office is not available to tenants at all. They're, they're here. Okay. It's posted, but it's not happening. It is. Um, it is. I'm here. The date, the dates for the board meetings, is not being, uh, it's not being publicized to the tenants. The electric thingy out here. <laughs> if you look at it, it's back to. December, October, November, December, it's not up to date. So that, if that were how people are looking to see, and, and again, tenants don't come down here. They don't come down here. They have homemakers that come down here. So they're not able to see what's on there. Also, the board, the board meetings are not being um, put into the newsletter, the monthly newsletter, which every tenant gets. So they don't know. It is. It is. It, it, these things should be, um, what else? Um, Sounds like solvable problems. Thank you, Judy. Yeah, if I have one more. The answering service is still has employees that have not been employed here for over a year, almost two years. When you call, you're still getting a click for Joe Schmo, and, there, and that person doesn't even exist anymore. It's very difficult for tenants here that, you know, hardly know how to use the phone at all. 
Mr. Commissioner. And I would like to address the hot water issue. Um, not the hot water so much, the w amount of water that has to be run before it gets hot. It's the biggest waste of water. Mm -hmm. I have to turn my water on in the morning and let it run for almost 10 minutes before it gets warm. It, this is, it's always been this way. We've addressed it's always been this way. We are wasting water by the gallons. Thank you, Judy. That's my two cents. We'll address, hopefully address all these things. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, can I just address Hamlet, one? please. Yeah. Um, so the answering service, the answering, um, the auto tree, that actually was just worked on last night, um, finally, by the IT company that we have contracted with. They have the first part of the, well, I was testing it this morning, and the first part of that answering service has been cleaned up. Um, and, but then when I found, when I went into the, the sub menus, like if you hit, for Hadley, hit one, the names were still there. So that will be corrected. We are actively working with, with the IT person. It's, it is unfortunately a very complex system that they're it even is. having it's trouble. It's very complicated, even for me. Never mind other tenants old, not older than me, but tenants that don't know how to use this phone as well. And they can't come down here and get any help because there's nobody there. We've had four property managers in a year. There is a serious problem. I'm glad you brought it up because we never have a property manager. Nobody can get and get any information from the office. I know because I had paperwork to pass in, and I walked down here five times before someone was here to accept my paperwork. I I dated it. Went down on this date, this date, this date, this date, and wrote it on the paper. It, there's no there's nobody here. And we're paying to have someone in the office. Tracy, thank Mary's you. Mary's been here. She was here yesterday. Mm -hmm. and Mary. Yeah. Mary, Mary, and yeah. Gary and Hannah. Who, who was there? And then last week, too. I don't yeah. know. Maybe I didn't no. the right day. It's no. no. It's, it's true. And I, I have one more thing that I just, I have to say. This. In terms of getting tenants together, Okay, this is my feeling. I, I think it's others, but I'm only going to say it for myself. This is a very dangerous community. It is dangerous. Who wants to come down here with people that call the police on you, that take you to court, that are so That's not nasty? Who wants to socialize with them? Not me. Thank you, Judy. Anybody else? I move that we. I hope we'll be talking about all these things coming up. It didn't used to be like that. What's no, that? it didn't. Well, it used to be no, like not, that. not that's actually not true. true. As, a matter as it is now, they're tenants against tenants. Who's going to come down here and socialize with them? Well, I really think an L I really think an LTO or. could be really helpful to identifying these, you know, and, and analyzing these problems and coming up with solutions. I wish that would happen. Thank you for that speaking up. That's the reason why people aren't coming down here, not just. We hear you, Judy. Thank you. We've already got our next meeting date. We need items for future agenda. Now would be a good time for board members to specify what items will be that the, we want on the next meeting that has now been scheduled for the 13th. Tuesday the 13th of February. So what items were they that you wanted to be scheduled? The status is on the search on who's putting ads in the newspaper or isn't. Um, the creation of a hiring subcommittee. Okay, a hiring subcommittee. What newspapers, internet sites were the, was the ad placed? And the total monies for ads. Did we ever approve a budget for the ads? We didn't. You you um you had left it up to th that I could I could spend the money, and I believe we're we're still under a thousand dollars, but it has been posted yeah. as it we is required. Yeah, we can't talk about it. So, well, 
Okay. And finding it, maybe finding a temporary board member until the election in May. We can't do a temporary. No, you. No, I think if you can find somebody, and then the town has to appoint them. The t a That's what I yeah. mean. I mean, yeah, it wouldn't be a temporary board member. So. Okay. And. Uh, I personally would like to know an update on the Gary DePace. Uh, I, I, I'm going to call you. When you went in to find out you were going to share please, it with the board. I did not. Please do no. not bring that up. You're, you're treading. Well, we, we I remember at a previous meeting. No. It, was the com it was for your com chairperson to reach out and make yes, a phone call. Yes, the chairperson was supposed to reach out to try to find out but, what um, Pamela found as far as. Uh, Pamela didn't find no. it. It's not, it wasn't my responsibility to do so. But, um, you, but you're you're volunteer. really treading. Well, I'm treading that. You're, no, it's right. an open meeting. You don't want to. You don't want to disparage what? somebody's reputation in an in an open meeting. No one's saying what well, was no, found. Yeah, it, it was it, supposed it, to be shared oh. with the board, though. No, not by me. The chairperson was going to call our fee accountant if he if you felt it necessary. But it was not for me to find out. That's right. Yeah. I just remember you volunteering to find no, out. No, she did not. I'm going to have to look back on tapes and then right. it, it's right here. Oh, text me or email me or something, okay? And I, also, I, I another, another thing I wanted to put on was uh, to be able to view these policies that were worked on by the subcommittee, the ones that have been already looked at, Can I? so we can look at them. Each month we request practically this, to see this the is policies. just a listing. No, I know that's that. why you're we had a discussion. But it's the fourth or fifth time we've requested. But but you're yeah, treading freeze, on freeze, open freeze. meeting. She's not no, talking. No. I'm you're sorry. treading on open meeting law here. Well, you're, you asked me what I wanted to discuss at the Mr. next agenda. No, it's just a bulleted item. Bruce, you don't have to. <laughs> May I make a suggestion? May I make a suggestion? Yeah. So for the um, special meeting that we're having on the thirteenth. If we can confine the topics to the ED search, and then the other topics that don't concern the ED search, we put on the later, the regular meeting. Okay. But why don't we just have a, a with those topics That's that fine. you're bringing That's up fine. about okay. the ED search for the 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 thirteenth? Sure. Okay. Okay. Anybody else want to add anything to the? Uh, no. And we should be looking at the policies. You're absolutely. Right. All right. Anything else, guys? If not, motion to adjourn. Make a motion. Adjourn. I second. Discussion. Anything else? Adjourn.